criticism overload, why that happens. And I look at it from a time space point of view. When, when you're highly critical of individuals, uh, usually that means that you're very scared. Okay. So why would you be scared? Sometimes, you know, we've had like abuse patterns, okay? Uh, or we've been abused sexually, physically, emotionally, and all that, right? All those things, what happens is that you get pushed out of time and space, okay? And as you get pushed out of time and space, what happens is that you become critical. You're in the center of the circle. When you feel centered, so to speak, and that's where the word centered comes from, uh, you're centered in time and space where you think time and space is in the present moment and you, that's your reality and that's how you render your reality okay what happens when people crit critical again criticism uh either getting criticized or being critical is a tool for you to center yourself okay it's not the best tool but it's a tool that you've used so what happens is that you're centered okay you have an identity of who you are and through abuse and so on like that or criticism uh, again as a child uh, or even as an adult what happens is that you go start to go off center you go off center and then it's like you feel a little awkward okay and then you go off center and then you go past say the line the circle and then that's where you start to get really critical or hypercritical about somebody or something or a situation uh whatever it might be um and, and the reason for that is that you're using criticism to analyze somebody that's not say congruent in time right so you have really nice abilities so you you criticize somebody and what does that do it pulls you into say their time reference